Welcome back. And this week, no customers. I'm back on my own van, my Renault Traffic camper conversion. I've already done quite a bit of work. Um, and then it sort of stalled while I did customer work, get some money back in the bank. As you can see, I've already, I've already fitted the pop top. I've got some footage somewhere, which I'll find and either put it in or just do it as a separate video of doing the, the pop top. I cut the holes for the windows, carpet lined it, I've got the floor in. So today's job is get the, the battery, uh, the seat out so I can lift up the rubber mat and run my w wiring through to the engine battery and then I can start putting uh, the seats back in. And uh, well, I was gonna do the headlining today, cut the, the hole, but the weather is awful and I need to be in the, the door shut. There's nowhere I could have the van outside with the roof up. It's blowing a hoolie. So we're gonna do all that. I'll strip it out, dig out my electrical bits, refresh my memory, what I need to do. And then I'll, I'll cut back in and show you what I've done so far. So I've got the wires through for the, the battery. If you can see up there, there's a lovely little grommet where the bonnet pull cable pops through. And then there's a spare, there's another two unused sort of holes in it. So just chop the end off so it can poke the wires through. No need to drill holes or anything complicated. And then on the inside, once you've got the step out, lift up the carpet, as you can see, it's up there. There's the grommet. I've got the wiring coming down along the floor, along under there, all the way up, and then up through hole that's already there. That hole was already there. I just put some knock-on trim around the edge, and then I'll I'll be able to. Well, I've left all the cables I'll make the ends off later when I start doing the inside but for now I can put the seat bases back in which I've had to modify because I've got swivels but while I got the carpet out as you can see I painted these bits black and even the edge of the foam black so when it's down and I've got my trim on the the gold of the doesn't stand out it's even worse if you've got a white van you might have your black floor black floor then a big white hole there so i'm gonna well I might as well show you what i've had to do to the swivels on the swivel i mean on the the bases there's a little bit here that is raised and it's just got a clip on for the wiring limb for this probably the airbags or something but i just cut that off i'm gonna scotch these off gloss black them again and then I'll do a better job. I'll make sure the inside is black. It's from the factory. That's just the, the metal. There's nothing there. And if you don't do, paint it, it'll go rusty. So I'm going to do that. Put There's my swivels. There's also, I need to modify the bottom of the seat, but I'll show you that when I do it. But I'm just going to start putting all the, this, this the trims on the side back in. Where's a trim? Now these, if you've never done one, they are, you've just got, this is the driver's side. So you've got a screw there. And then when it's in the van, it's only clipped in. So you've got to try and get your fingers underneath and just pull like mad. It will come out. You can see how it's clipped into that um, base at the bottom. Nothing's broke, I've just, pulled like mad sometimes when you can get your your finger and lift up a little bit you might be able to get a square bit of wd in there that'll help so i'm going to clean these up who and then start putting that all back together next up is i want to get the headlining in the weather's a bit better today so i might get that done i've got the driver's seat base here as you can see there's a bit i cut out and from the factory there's no paint on the inside. That's just the, the silver from 
the metal. So I'm just gonna give it a bit of gloss black and there. Uh, there's a, uh, where's my the shape? There's my passenger one. I do it in two hits. I've got it upside down because there's no sort of paint on the bits that are on the floor either. So I'll paint that today. I'm gonna paint this one, paint it upside down today. And then as you can see on the underneath, it's quite thin. And once the floor starts getting wet when you're using it all the time, I've seen a few of these quite rusty when the vans are a couple of years old. So I'm just gonna paint the inside today and then tomorrow I'll turn it over and do the other side. So that's my bases, uh, scotched down, painted again with some gloss black. Look nice. Another little trick I do is I paint the bolt black as well so it doesn't stand out when the, uh, when the vans when the van's finished. So, as you can see, there's the bit I cut out and how you need it missing for the, the seat to swivel. Now, I've got, I've just got, realized I've got a problem. Passenger seat, fine. Driver's seat, I've somehow ended up with a driver's seat for a left-hand drive van. So it doesn't, obviously the seat fits, but it doesn't turn. It hits the hits the steering wheel. So I've moved on to fitting the headlining. Um, if you've ever stripped the traffic, you'll know the wires come down the middle along the bulkhead and to the back, but there's enough length there to just reroute them around the side from cable ties. Um, you can see that frame, just cut it flush, glued it back in. And I'll go show you the headlining, which I've cut. I'll show you in a second. Now we've what I used to cut it because these are these headlinings are tricky to, to to cut. So I offered the headlining up and from above with the roof open, just went round the edge, marked it with a black pen. Cut it. I've offered it in and out a couple of times just to fine tune it. So now I'm going to fit it. And then you're probably wondering if you've ever taken a headlining out. I should just do a separate video and show how to take these out. These are a nightmare. They're, you're really lucky if you get them out without breaking them, or if you can get it out without breaking them you end up damaging the headlining with your, your trim tool. So the reason why they're quite difficult, as you tighten up the screw inside, it pulls this down and opens it out. But when you undo the screw, when you want to take it off, it stays squashed. So hence you can't pull it through the hole. So I've had to buy new ones. If you need any, you want to Google it or go to your Renault dealer, that's the part number, they're not handed, they're exactly the same part, just two, one for each sun visor. Okay, I'm gonna offer up the roof cloth one more time and then cut in and show you how it looks. So just cutting back in, uh, for me, a couple of days later, because I'm doing my van in between customers' jobs. So I think I had the front swivel back to front, so I've just turned it round and gone just to show you on the Renaults they have these little locators that stops you putting the wrong seat the wrong way around or whatever but you need to chop these off so I'm, I've done one that's the other one I use a little grinder then once it's ground off use my belt sander to make it nice and flat um, I've ordered a right hand drive driver's swivel plate because the one I've got there is definitely a left hand drive driver's swivel and it doesn't work. So that's a bit of a, a pain. And that's it. I've got the 
transit windscreen has just arrived for the transit connect with the slider for sliding door so that might be in the next video fitting that um well i'm gonna carry on cut that and then get the seat fitted and just also i've managed to the headlining is in i'm just leaving it loosely fitted so once I start trimming this off, if I need to pull it down and do anything, I can. And then I've got a nice trim to go on around there. But that'll be next week's job. So once I've got the seat in, I'll update you. I'm just gonna round up this video as it's getting a bit long and I don't wanna keep filming and, and forget where I'm up to. So just to recap, or well mainly for me, um, I put the that trim on nice I'd already made it and cut it the swivels the left hand one is on and working the right hand one I've got uh, the right hand drivers on order so I'm basically going to have a spare passenger seat one that I can hopefully try and sell to someone um, the headlining is in I've all, it's all trimmed ready. There's a, an off cut from another one just to hold that up till I've trimmed the roof. I've run a little wire around that I'm gonna use to put a light just there. Um, and the reason for not, and I've put some battens up here which will hold the bit of ply I'll make and carpet to fill that gap. Um, the reason I haven't finished that, I'm going to quickly, it's coming up to the coronation. So we want to go camping for one night. So I'm just going to get this out and temporarily put the bed back in. I'm going to, I'll do that as another video. I'll just end this one here as a putting the seats in and trimming the around the top video. Okay. If you like this, I'm going to keep following my build. Just, uh, subscribe and you'll get notified when the next one comes along okay thank you very much bye bye